News 8 at 10 starts now. The arrest of Richard M. Allen of Delphi on two counts of murder is sure a major step in leading to the conclusion of this long-term and complex investigation. More than five years after their deaths, state police make an arrest in the murders of Abby Williams and Libby German. Our lives for five and a half years have been in a search, search mode. A nationwide search now appears to be over, with the suspected killer found. That's why we said never stop searching anywhere, because we didn't know where he was. As one chapter in this case closes, state police caution the investigation into the girls' deaths is far from over. Any other person had any involvement in these murders in any way, that person or persons will be held accountable. Right now at 10 o'clock, police arrested Richard Allen for the murder of Abby Williams and Libby German. Police made the announcement at a news conference that we brought you live this morning here on Wish TV. Investigators would not answer if they believe he is the man in a 2019 sketch or if he's the person recorded on one of the girls' phones the day they were murdered. Superintendent Doug Carter said that Allen was taken into custody last Wednesday and formally charged on Friday. Allen is currently in the White County Jail, and prosecutors say that he's being held without bail. They say Allen has already made his initial court appearance and pleaded not guilty. Prosecutors say court documents in the case will remain sealed for now, but despite that, family members are relieved to hear of an arrest. Now we got a big mountain ahead of us, and, and we're going to stay after it. I've never give, we haven't ever given up, and, and you guys haven't given up on us, and we're going to keep pushing um, all the way. The sister of Libby German, Kelsey, uh, she tweeted this out this morning. We got him. October 28th was the day. The arrest of Richard Allen is another step toward closure for the families of Abby Williams and Libby German. Now let's get to Auntie Maid's Jasmine Miner, who's live in Delphi with how the community is taking this. Jasmine. Well, Alexis, Phil, you got to remember that these posters, these pictures have been plastered all over this town for nearly six years. And it wasn't until today that the sketch had became a legitimate person. And people here tell me that Richard Allen would cash them out at the CVS just down the street from here. And they say they never thought anything of it. How many amount of times have I been in there and spoke to him with him or by myself? Could I have been next? Cassie Quinn says it's hard not to ask that question, especially as a mom to a teenage girl. Talking to him, like when we would go and cash out right down the road at CVS, like I never thought anything about it. Like many here in Delphi, Cassie says she ran across Richard Allen several times. He's now charged with two counts of murder, one for Libby German and the second for Abby Williams. And while it's a major breakthrough in the case. While I know you are all expecting final details today concerning this arrest, Today is not that day. It's nowhere near the end. The affidavit, which contains details on why police believe Allen committed murder, is sealed and not publicly available. The prosecutor says he asked for that intentionally, so the integrity of the investigation wasn't compromised. I think for the family's sake, they deserve answers. They don't necessarily have to tell the entire public, but I think the family deserves answers. State police wouldn't address any of the details of how or why Allen became a suspect, nor did they answer any questions on Kagan Klein, who investigators believe ran a fake social media profile that contacted Libby German the day she was murdered. Cassie says after seeing the sketches side by side with Allen's photo, she believes he's the guy. I honestly, I wish the harshest punishment on him because those were two teenage girls that should have still had many years to come. Well, look, I talked to a couple of people here, and many of them tell me there's a feeling of relief since the news broke. Um, but Indiana State Police did emphasize in the news conference this morning that everyone is presumed innocent until proven guilty. Richard Allen will be in court next on January 10th. I'm Jasmine Miner for Wish TV, IT Mate. Jasmine, thank you. I think it's important to mention that any arrest comes with formal court documents charging the suspect with a crime. Uh, but in the case of Richard Allen, all of those documents are, are sealed. So here with more on the reason possibly for this is Danielle Zolkowski. Danielle.
Well, the investigators and the prosecutor's office are being tight-lipped when it comes to most of the details regarding this investigation. The probable cause affidavit, which holds key information regarding the charges and the case, is sealed under court order. One local expert says while this is unusual, he believes those involved had a good reason. They're not just withholding stuff because they're, they don't want people to, to, to know just to withhold. It, it's because they don't want to release some piece of information that might compromise their investigation or the subsequent prosecution. Officials say this investigation is still open. This could be a contributing factor to the court order. There's still seems to be a long way to go. You know, the, just because they made an arrest, uh, you've still got to successfully prosecute that. And so they don't want to uh, jeopardize that in any way. So they're going to err on the side of caution with releasing information. You can always release more later, but once it's out there, you know, you can't pull that back. Kuhn says releasing too much information could hinder investigators from making additional arrests or gathering more information for Allen's prosecution. If there's an accomplice or or either directly involved or later um, lying about um, alibis or some other aspect of the case. Uh, there could be related arrests and prosecutions for that. Kuhn says he has never seen court documents fully sealed like this in his career. I've seen plenty of cases sealed for, for periods of time. Um, but nothing exactly like this, so It'll be very interesting when they do come out with the rest of it, and, and we'll, it'll be clear why this was withheld. Carroll County Prosecutor Nick McLeland says there will be a public hearing to determine if those records will stay sealed. In the newsroom, Danielle Zolkowski, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. Danielle, thank you. People in Delphi say they're stunned the suspect is a familiar face. Records from the Carroll County Assessor's Office confirms Richard Allen owned the home that was on your screen in, in Delphi since 2006. Now, those records also show no significant criminal history for Allen and also confirm that he was working as a pharmacy technician at the local CVS. Several Delphi residents say Allen filled their prescriptions for them all the time. Many didn't want to talk on camera, but says that he was always friendly with customers. Residents are in dismay that the man now accused of killing Abby Williams and Libby German was so close at hand for so long. CBS issued a statement saying, quote, we are shocked and saddened to learn that one of our store employees was arrested as a suspect in these crimes. We stand ready to cooperate with the police investigation in any way we can. The Carroll County prosecutor says so far, Allen does not appear to have an attorney. Well, a key part of this investigation from the very beginning has been the sketches, video, and uh, the, the audio that police released. And now that police have arrested Richard Allen, we want to put these pictures with the sketches up on your, your, your screen here. So the guy in the middle, that's who uh, we're talking about tonight, Richard Allen, right? So this, these were released in 2017. The, the one on the right is the updated sketch from police in 2019. At the time, state police said the sketch on the right was their main focus as it came from what they called new information and intelligence. A reminder now of how this case has evolved in more than five and a half years. Abby and Libby were dropped off at the Monon High Bridge February 13th, 2017. Police found their bodies the next day. Police released a sketch of a suspect on the 15th, then a week later released video and audio clips captured on Libby's phone. In April 2019, police released a second sketch saying new information led to the updated drawing. Then today, police announced the arrest of 50-year-old Richard Allen, of Delphi. He's facing two counts of murder and the deaths of Abby Williams and Libby German. Now, today's announcement brings questions again about the connection of Kagan Klein to the deaths. Police say Klein is the person who ran the Anthony Schatz social media profile. I Team 8 was the first to report last year that that, that account had been in contact with Libby German. The account was in contact with her the day before the murders. Kagan Klein is the Miami County Jail awaiting trial on 30 child porn related charges. Police say he used the social media profile to get 100 sexual pictures and videos of underage girls. Klein's trial is set for January of next year. His attorneys did tell the judge in August that Klein was exploring legal options and that the defense and prosecutor were engaged in negotiations.
We have more information on the 2017 Delphi murders on our website. All you have to do is grab your phone, scan that QR code that's on your screen. It will take you to the As Seen On section of our website. Stick with News 8 as we continue to gather any new information and reaction to the Delphi case.